Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music wherever it may be found and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and we're once again back at Downtown Las Vegas Arts District Hotspot 18 Bin for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. With both an outdoor dining area and full-on stage, as well as an inside bar and a smaller stage, 18 Bin has a lot going on for it. You owe it to yourself to drop in if you're in the area. Unlike last week's showcase, where a lot of the acts were a band, this one was all solo acts. A man and a stage. And a bathroom that's located behind the stage. Every building above 95th Street. Leveled. I hope they brought their A-game. This video is brought to you by Music Today. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Before the review, a quick note. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, contact Hal Savar using his social media handle that I've put down in the description. That's also where you'll find the social media handles for every act mentioned in this video. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or by clicking the Room 6 social media link that's down there as well. That's also where you'll find all the things that I'm up to online, ways you can support the channel should you so decide, and also the all-important like, share, and subscribe buttons. Helps me grow the channel and support the local music scene. Thanks! Opening up the show this time was our host, Hal Savar. Coming off of vocal rest, Hal treated everyone to two of his songs before passing the torch. As usual, his music was dynamic and evocative, and it was great to hear his voice back to full force once again. It was a great way to start out the night. Following Hal was Alexis Ryan, who also had a gig later that night, down the street. With a sound that's equal parts melancholy and upbeat, Alexis never fails to impress audiences with her songwriting making great use of tempo changes as her crooning voice washed over the crowd. She's quickly becoming a showcase favorite. Next up to bat was Dee Fong, a face we haven't seen in a few years. Dee's music is poignant and brooding, making great use of his effect pedals to create just the right sound on his guitar to complement his voice. Sometimes a little growly, his sound gave hints of 90s alternative music fused with a little outlaw country. I hope we get to see him a lot more frequently in the future. Coming up next was Aubrey Digital, the only act of the night rocking an electric guitar and backing tracks. Constantly upping her songwriting game, Aubrey treated all of us to a mix of instrumental and songs with lyrics, all of which were greeted warmly. Her lyrics are cleverly written, and she has a great understanding of stage presence, dynamics, and the importance of having fun on stage. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. Want to take your music career to the next level? Or maybe you just want to get some sweet merch from your favorite artists on the cheap. MusicToday.com has you covered. With over 300,000 square feet of warehouse and distribution space located in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Arkansas, MusicToday.com can help you achieve your full revenue potential using omnichannel commerce and fancy words like synergistic brand experience. Just for watching this video and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get massive clearance savings on special and hard to find items you probably can't find anymore. Thanks to musictoday.com for being a sponsor and let's get back to the show. Up next was longtime friend of the showcase and the channel, Robert Stokes. Specializing in fusing ska and island rhythms with singer-songwriter sensibilities, Robert is a treat whenever he performs. Like many a songwriter, he has no problem putting his life experiences into music. With love songs that are upbeat, he's always welcome on the showcase stage. Our next performer was recent birthday girl, Cam Elise. At the new, tender age of 16, Cam is already blowing minds and shattering expectations. I recently interviewed her and will be reviewing a new song soon, so subscribe and stay tuned so you don't miss out. Reminiscent of pop acts such as Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo, I would not be surprised if her name becomes a household name in years to come. Following Cam was Caroline Tronoski, robotics teacher by day and showcase favorite by night. Caroline's music is full of light and hope, just like her. She effortlessly fuses folk and love song musical moments into her own unique style, and we were all glad she did. Hopefully, we'll get some recorded music from her in the uh, near future. I'll be sure to review it. Back for his second week in a row, up next was Frank Lacutis. With soaring vocals, an infectious smile, and some great technical guitar playing, Frank picked up the pace with the help of a special pedal called a foot stomp. 
Another master of using dynamics and stops and starts in his music to create tension and movement, he set the bar perfectly for the final act of the night, which was... Finishing out the night was another face we haven't seen in a long time in the form of Kella T, lead singer of the band Dead Money. Heavily steeped in the blues, Kella's songs cover relatable topics and are delivered via her powerhouse voice. A force of nature on stage, whether alone or with her band, she never fails to deliver an awesome show, and it was so great to see her live once again. Overall, the latest installment of the 18-bin songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar went great. I sincerely can't wait for next one on Thursday, June 6th, and I hope we'll see you there as well. If you can't make it in person, hop on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by 18-bin if you're in the downtown Las Vegas Arts District, and I hope that we'll see you next week, Thursday, the... what I say? The 6th? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the 6th at 6.30 p.m. And if you can't make it, I hope we'll see you on the live stream. Speaking of live streams, I have put the uh, link for the live stream for this one that I just reviewed down in the description. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there. And don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.